Hello, right, I've got a point to make about ninjas. Yes, you know, ninjas. The, the guys go around in the, in the black cotton jumpsuits with the, with the surgical masks on. Well, actually, they didn't, obviously. They were spies, you know. It'd be a bit easy to spot a ninja, wouldn't it? You know, you're going on your daily rounds as a guard in the camp. So, uh, who do you think's a ninja, then? Well, it's probably that guy over there in the black cotton jumpsuit. Could be wrong. No. Uh, but if they were going on some sort of night mission, you know, where they had to uh, crawl across the palace grounds and then, and then uh, up some drain pipe or whatever, uh, then they would perhaps wear a woolen, because wool is silent, uh, black jumpsuit. But anyway, uh, no, the point is really about drawing swords, if you remember. Sorry, I got a bit off the point. And um, now, if you're a samurai type, that's why I'm wearing this silly sash, um, you'd have your sword like this, you see. And, uh, well, crawling's out, isn't it, if, you got your, if you're wearing your sword like that. Um, similarly, this is not the way you would wear your sword if you wanted to shin up a drain pipe now, is it? Um, so, whilst you're being ninja-like and uh, stealthy, you're going to strap it to your back. Okay, like that. And people have got the idea that ninjas um, strapped it to their back because it's a really cool place to have your sword. Well, you know, it, it's a necessary place while you're sneaking about, but you can't actually draw a sword from your back. Now, there are two ways of wearing it on your back. You could have it fixed at the top and the bottom so it doesn't rattle around, and then it's like this. And, no, no, I mean, I've got long arms, okay, and then I. Oh, hang on, if I really go for it. Ooh. Yes! Oh, okay, just by the skin of my teeth got it out, but uh, I think in that time I probably would have been killed. Um, or you could perhaps just have it uh, strapped and uh, fixed at the top end so that you can flip it forwards like this. And so you reach for your sword and you flip it forwards and then... Again, uh, but uh, I suspect I've got longer arms than the average medieval ninja. Uh, no, it's a really ridiculous and impractical place to have a sword. Um, but filmmakers don't mind, do they? Filmmakers, I, some of you may have seen Robin of Sherwood on British television, uh, where there was a guy who supposedly had been out east with the Saracens or something, and had come back, yeah, no, uh, and had come back with two swords in, in, in black leatherette scabbards that were diagonally across his back in both directions. So, so he, he ran around with a sword sticking up there and a sword sticking up here. And um, <laughs> you never ever saw him draw them. Now, I wonder why that was. Because you can't draw them from there. Um, uh, instead, what would happen is that uh, there'd be a shot of him going, ha, ah, like that, and reaching for them. It would then cut away to various people going, ha, ah, like that, and you'd hear the whing, whing noise, and then you'd cut back to him with the two swords out. And you never ever saw him draw the swords because the actor, of course, couldn't. He'd go, and that's about as far as he'd get. Um, it's impractical. Uh, oh, I noticed in, in Heroes uh, recently, Hero um, drew it from, from, uh, from there. I thought, oh, this is interesting, because he reached in shot, grabbed it, and as he was doing that, with the usual noise dubbed on, the camera just panned off him so that he just... Did the, did the deed just out of shot? Now again, I wonder why. It's almost as though it's impossible to draw a sword from your back, but filmmakers still insist that it is, and, and, and also that it is somehow a superior and extra cool way of drawing your sword. Oh boy.